Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is TJ Ma. I'm a, a reader in uh, business informatics within the School of Informatics. I'm also a faculty fellow of the Alan Turing Institute. So here, I, I just want to spend perhaps 30 minutes to brief you the background of our advanced technology for financial computing degree uh, and what other opportunities it may potentially bring to uh, the cohort students. First of all, so let me introduce you to UK if you are overseas students. Uh, actually, some aspects of the UK perhaps you may or may not be aware of, where perhaps you everybody knows London, you know, uh, and uh, Edinburgh also is a world famous city. But perhaps most people know London perhaps is one of the world leading or single world largest uh, financial uh, center of the world. Uh, and actually, it's in terms of the trading volume, it, it, it's the world first actually is exceed New York. Well, many people may not recognize actually, Edinburgh is UK's second largest financial service center, actually has the ambition and plan to be the data capital of Europe, where we're trying to be in UK, provide uh, specific expertise and opportunities for students to learn all of the advanced technologies related to finance sectors uh, specifically. So here, I'll just give you some a general int introduction of what, what we're going to offer. So uh, maybe a uh, course student may not aware of, actually University of Edinburgh, actually just in June this year, has been granted by UK Research Council uh, of one of the world's first open finance center of excellence to work on, on open finance related to banking finance sectors. It's led by University of Edinburgh and collaborated with a co number of cohort financial associations, which this brings uh, tremendous opportunities for students to study finance related or fintech related uh, studies in University of Edinburgh. And also I want to introduce a little bit more on uh, University of Edinburgh School of Informatics and which provides the world leading computing expertise, uh, uh, which is well known actually across Europe and globally. So informatics, which is a school uh, typically regarded as the computer science school, has over 500 academics and research staffs uh, and over 300 actually PhD students. It is one of the largest of its type within UK and also within Europe. So in terms of the last year's uh, high uh, time, uh, times high education uh, world computer science subject ranking, the ranks the world 40, yeah, I believe. So it's almost nearly world top 10, you know, uh, degree, sorry, uh, department in terms of the CS subject. And if you have an opportunity to come to Edinburgh, even though Edinburgh city is very much uh, a world heritage with ancient uh, types of buildings, but uh, if you look at the informatics, it's really modern. So it's a giant building which contains more than a thousand staff and, and, and researchers to sit in this uh, modern building, which is not far from the city center in Joe Square, very convenient location. And informatics, generally speaking, has six uh, institute, research institute, uh, each of which has a world-class expertise in their fields. I will just give a very brief introduction on that. First of all, for example, Institute of Adaptive and Neurocommunication, that is really uh, the, the, the institute working on uh, uh, machine learning as well as neural network type of artificial intelligence systems. So for example, George Hinton was, was, was uh, actually from this institute uh, previously, where it has the world-class expertise in terms of deep neural network, graph neural network, all types of machine learning techniques. The A Artificial Intelligence and its Application uh, Institute, that is the institute I'm seeing in. Uh, and the, the institute contains a variety of expertise in terms of, uh, 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 for example, theoretical uh, and explainable AI researchers who are actually uh, working on various uh, techniques which makes AI explainable, right? And the ILCC, the Institute of uh, for language uh, cognition and computation. So that is the, the natural language processing uh, group uh, where they rank the world number one, actually. So one of the world's most famous 
natural language processing team is sitting in the institute. And also Computing System and Architecture Institute, as well as the system architect who is doing research on computer systems. Uh, IPOP, that is the Perception, Action, and Behavior Research in in Institute, who are working a lot on robotics, who works with uh, NASA, for example, to work on human-like uh, robots, and also the Laboratory for Foundations of, for Computer Science. And that is where the theoretical computer science are working uh, in the field of the theoretical uh, fields. The next slide. All right, okay, so just, just to sort of give uh, students a bit more sort of a general overview what, why we launched such a new MSc program. Right? In the last perhaps five or 10 years, what we see is explosion of the data, right? And also the booming of new technologies, such as, for example, big data everybody is talking about, mobile IoT, as well as uh, AI technologies uh, and blockchain, uh, of course. And also for the banking sector, actually, perhaps some, many of the over students may or may not recognize the finance sector, you know, in UK actually occupies a 25% of UK GDP. Uh, and actually, you know, employ a quarter of the whole UK uh, 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 professionals, created, you know, 25% of the employment opportunities in this country. So that's a, one of the UK's flagship industry, uh, which provide financial services uh, worldwide. And in that sector, you may see there are a variety of different uh, aspects of the financial services. For example, investments uh, and the trading, uh, and also, for example, a banking sector as credit cards, loans, uh, as well as uh, recent years, there are booming of the internet related financial um, sectors of online mobile payments and online-based saving. And also, of course, there are insurance markets as well. And all of those different financial services actually relies on decision-making and the risk management, where just reduce the risk and improve your uh, returns. That is the fundamental uh, business model of the whole financial sectors. And it's increasingly that sort of decision-making and the risk management process uh, it is relying on the underlying available of the data and the advanced new technology. For example, AI enhanced decision making. That's the whole sector uh, is trying to transform its traditional businesses into the new forms of, of, of supplying financial services with the capability of new technologies. And that's where we see there's a big you know, a, a market demand from the sector to hire technology students to be able to fulfill right, such employment demand. And that's the reason why the driver behind how, why we needed to provide such a new education opportunities to the potential future talents. And if you look at, for example, how we actually, uh, uh, actually design this new MS degree, actually what we see is it provides a perfect opportunity for students to study both I would say uh, uh, inform information technologies, mathematical modeling, and as well as a business field applications. So that is the key driver to actually be able to provide students the diversity as well as the interdisciplinary study opportunities within such a degree. And the degree was designed in such a way to offer such opportunities. And if around the 180 uh, uh, credits students need to study, 60 of them need to be from informatics, and 30 credits will be from business school, and the 30 credits are optional from informatics and the math. So I will just uh, briefly go through the, uh, the, the, the syllabus, uh, uh, you know, uh, so that you can get familiar with what you will be, have, be able to study if you are enrolled on such a degree. For example, for the compulsory courses, so you will need to study like a data-driven business behavior analytics, which is, is one of our uh, academics who designed this across specifically for this degree. And my colleague, actually Valerio, who actually used to work in banks for many years and now get back to academic. And also informat uh, informatics research review, 
an informatics project proposal will actually really allow students to be able to uh, uh, prepare for their uh, dissertation related study and think of in deep about what they really want to study uh, as their dissertation project and get the essential trainings. And also another compulsory course is introductory uh, applied machine learning course, which I'm teaching. So that is actually a semester two course, which allows students to get on the latest AI machine learning techniques and knowing how to apply that to a large amount of data specifically related to financial applications. So that is how it was uh, designed. <clears throat> and in addition, so students will have the opportunity to select a number of uh, business school courses which are specifically focusing on, on banking sectors as well as the technology innovation and management. For example, introduction to risk management in banks as well as credit risk management. Those are the core businesses for banking sectors and students will have the opportunity to learn how that management process works, what are the key concepts and techniques and the management processes in terms of the, in, in terms of the banking sector's risk management. And also, you know, there are a couple of courses from the business school in terms of innovation entrepreneurship, where if you are thinking about having a startup yourself, then those are the essential uh, uh, skills. Uh, and also, if you sort of uh, aim to pursue a technology management role uh, in the future career, and those trainings will be essential for students, such as digital business, technology uh, uh, entrepreneurship, and managing innovation in context. So uh, because technology is a really fast moving and these uh, courses will provide students the capability and the management skills in terms of uh, managing the no uh, technology innovation. In addition, there's a large amount of optional courses uh, draw from both math ma uh, mathematics as well as informatics. For example, if you're really so fancy about math modeling and optimization, there are math courses such as uh, fundamentals of optimization, uh, financial mathematics, financial risk and uncertainty. Those are really, really uh, uh, sort of uh, giving students the opportunity for a quant, you know, uh, role in investment sectors or in trading sectors. And also there are other uh, informatics courses related to various new tests of fintech technologies, such as, for example, natural language processing, you know, text technologies, blockchain, and also evolutionary nature computing. All of these are essential to build up actually the infrastructure for uh, uh, financial applications. Overall, I, th I think those are the, our course syllabus and, and also it provides a very high level overview of what you may get if you become a student of, uh, of this particular master degree. And once you come to <coughs> say Edinburgh, you will be able to have the chance to build up your own sort of a study plan like this, where you select different courses, right? whether it's compulsory or it's optional, then you just do that yourself, and which can be particularly tailored to your study and the degree needs. And we will support you to help you give you advices what would be best suited for, for, for you, whether you want a business focused, you want to be technology focused, or you want to be more mathematical modeling focused that gives you the choices to study different directions within a single degree. All right, and some of students are very much keen on knowing what, what sort of uh, uh, dissertation I may get and what sort of uh, uh, resources I may get. Well, don't worry about that too early. So within the university, there are a variety of resources which university has subscribed to students to be able to handle financial data from various sources and give uh, specific support to, to those data accesses as well as uh, technical support. For example, university has subscribed uh, uh, Bloomberg, Thomas and Reuters, and a number of other data sources. So you will really getting on with the real world like, you know, like a bank or, or event sector like data terminals and data sources which allows you to hand on, get on hand on experiences with how you can handle large financial data and build up a new dissertation uh, topic. Uh, last but not least, uh, I have to say, well, it's being in Edinburgh. This year is a bit special. 
uh, because many students uh, actually because of COVID, you know, started to become a bit more online. But we hope next year onward things will get back to normal. A typical Edinburgh life is really a vibrant, right? So if you sort of see a couple of pictures of Edinburgh, it's a very unique uh, city uh, with a unique uh, sort of uh, what heritage type of uh, experiences. And you won't, you know, it's one of the UK's top tourist place. Typically in the summer, if you saw this sort of second picture here, uh, actually it's a full crowd of people on the high street. It has a world famous, uh, you know, uh, Edinburgh festival in the summer. What globally tourists will come to Edinburgh, typically, you know, uh, all of the hotels will be occupied. Our students, generally speaking, you know, in the summer when they start their stations, they will start to enjoy the summer of Edinburgh and the festivals. So it's a fantastic way of experience UK culture. And it's not just only that. Actually, uh, normally, you know, every year, perhaps in April, May-ish, so there is Edinburgh Informatics in in Investment, uh, you know, uh, event, which is a Scotland the largest venture capital related uh, uh, event. So a couple of hundred actually venture capital uh, investors, uh, together with a fintech or a actually technology startup would come together and to have this matchmaking and showcase uh, events. So it's really, uh, you know, uh, fantastic how it was uh, organized. If you are uh, fancy about having your own startup or being employed in such a startup companies, those are the one of the best place to be and to attend such events and which a university tends to give uh, uh, plenty of opportunities for Edinburgh University students. And because this event is organized by informatics, so informatics students will have plenty of opportunities to gain access of such events. And the last but not the least, I think this is just saying how good informatics it is. If you Google around, informatics perhaps is widely regarded as one of the UK's best computer science. And finally, so, Actually, our, our master degrees are in partnership with universities uh, base institute, uh, which is the University Data Technology in Institute. Uh, and the institute has a large number of cohort partner, industry partners. Uh, and you can see a number of bank sectors, some of the large data analytics companies with some well-known well firms such as Intel, and with a number of startups, small companies. So there will be a variety of opportunities to have industry internships, as well as dissertation projects and employment opportunities. So I hope our degree will actually provide students the way to transform their career parties in the way students would like to pursue in the future. And thank you very much. That is pretty much my talk. And it's just a little bit less than 30 minutes. And the summary of the degree is, so the, the, this new master degree really provided across disciplinary study opportunities on not only technology, but also on human being, AI technologies, as well as FinTech powered for decision support. And if you learn these technologies, it's, it is are the, are, the, are, are the new to emerging technologies which can not only be applied to finance sectors, but perhaps can be applied in any other uh, business sectors as well. So it would be a unique way of uh, providing training and study opportunities within University of Edinburgh. Uh, thank you very much. That is my brief introduction.